What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. This one's from uh, Seduction Cinema, which is an arm of alternative cinema. And this is Spider Babe. This one was made right at the tail end of the golden era of Seduction Cinema when they were doing uh, erotic spoofs. This one is about a girl named Patricia Porker, who is a quiet, shy, nerdy girl. Uh, she has a very vivid sexual fantasies about her crush, but she's just not the type of girl who has the boldness and uh, initiative to actually try to uh, make a move on him uh, but one night uh, she is bit by a radioactive spider and she's just kind of like you know nothing apparently changes right away so she just kind of brushes it off and uh, you know moves on but then one night she's in the middle of a furious masturbation session and when she gets off spider webs spray out of her crotch all over the wall and it becomes clear that this spider bite has led to you know more problems than she you know anticipated so she is now the spider babe and she can use her powers of webbing and whatnot uh, you know to become a hero or you know she can just use it to try to get laid and I bet you can kind of figure out which way it goes um, this one is a pretty like narratively faithful adaptation as far as to the spider-man uh, origins um, it's pretty much follows that only it's got a bunch of lesbian sex scenes in it um, I really like seduction cinema especially from this era um, it's got Misty Monday in it who is now known as Aaron Brown uh, but she was like the queen of seduction cinema she's great here um, I will say that this this review is based off the unrated version uh, so if you watched it on cable on demand or blockbuster or whatever it's a different cut but uh, this one has a lot of nudity in it it has a lot of uh, lesbian love scenes it's got some regular uh, man on woman love scenes as well but uh, it's not quite as graphic with the nudity and the sex as some of the other ones are uh, this is definitely once they had kind of established themselves um, you know and started making things the, their movies were a little bit more popular so they were making them a little more palatable some of the older ones feature a lot more graphic nudity and sex this one though still does have a lot of uh, a lot of naked flesh in it though no blood obviously it's just a goofy comic book style movie um, as far as entertainment, I think it's really good. It depends on if you like cheesy humor and just goofy parody type stuff. I think it's solid for what it is. I don't think it's one of the better Seduction Cinema movies. As I said, it was made kind of toward the tail end of their like best era. But it is solid. Misty Monday has immense charisma. She's super fun to watch. Um, I, I wish she would have you know, had a little bit higher profile when she came out of it. But she did do a couple things and just kind of you know, went back to the indies. But I really like this movie. I think it's fun. I think the humor is terrible, which I like. I think the girls in it are hot, which I like. Um, and I just think it's goofy. It's about a, move, a girl, a movie about a girl who shoots webbing out of her crotch. I don't know what else you could want out of a movie than that. Um, if you like goofy erotic spoofs, or you just like the idea of Spider Babe, this is your this is your sh big shot. Uh, the DVD again is from Seduction Cinema, and it's got it's a two disc set. It comes with a booklet and then it's also like a two disc set um, it's got the r-rated version of the movie on one disc and the unrated version um, I can not really tell you the major differences but obviously the unrated version has a little bit more colorfulness to it but it's not uh, there weren't any massive huge differences um, in the old days you could get the naughty cuts and those were quite a bit different than the ones that you would get a like blockbuster but in this case it's really hard to tell too much of a difference it's just not as extreme um, it's also got uh, interviews, music videos, outtakes, bloopers, TV clips, uh, multiple naughty deleted scenes. And so it's a pretty packed disc. You can get this pretty cheaply now, like super cheap. Um, just make sure that if you're interested in it for the uh, erotic side of things that you get the you get the version that's unrated. Um, this is the two disc set. That's probably the one you would want to get if you're a big fan of Seduction Cinema or Misty Monday. Um, I recommend it. Again, it's not great. I think it's really good though. It's really fun. And uh, if you're a fan of seduction cinema and lesbian softcore parody movies, this is one you should check out. If you like this review, please check out my website, markfusion.com. I've got a ton of other uh, cult, horror, erotica, porn reviews, all kinds of stuff on there for you to check out. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at markfusion. If you like these reviews, please drop a sub. It would help me out greatly. Um, and that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll have another one up soon.